Hey guys, how's it going? Troy here, Packers Corner. I'm going to make a second video tonight. I usually don't make this many uh, videos in, in this amount of time. I make sometimes a one a week now, if that. But I got something on Monday I've got to show you guys. And uh, I just finally got a chance here on Wednesday to kind of make a video and show you. Uh, what I ended up getting was on, on a President's Day, I was going to go to my local card shop slash comic book shop. And they got everything, videos and movies and video games and everything else. And I knew they had something there that I saw one time. And I wanted to pick it up, and so I went there, and the, my, the guy that I was going to buy it from was there, so I had to go away for a little while and come back. But this is what I ended up picking up. 1981 uh, handheld tabletop Tron video game. This game is pretty cool. Uh, 1981, it's got the battery case still on it, and to make it even better... It still actually works. Just flat out incredible. I could not believe it. Let's see if I can get this game going. The first game is a light cycle. Yep, oh, I must have crashed. But um, pretty cool video game for being 33 years old. I saw this. I actually saw it about a year and a half ago there. And I ended up getting something else. And I came back and it was missing. It was already gone. I thought someone had bought it. So when I came back and I saw it sitting there, I thought, there's another one that got brought in. I guess they switched out some of their stuff and put it in the back or something. I don't know. But it gave me the opportunity to purchase this for my collection. So I'm really excited about this Tron game. Love the movie Tron. Both of them. And so, and there's hopefully another one coming out called Flynn Lives or something like that. So this is the one I picked up. But while I was waiting, but I couldn't pick this one up because my buddy wasn't there yet, I left and I went to a local flea market in town that's not very far from there. Just kind of kill some time, like half an hour or so, figuring I wouldn't find as, anything as cool as that would be. Well, I walk in the front door, right there in front of me, bottom down to the, to, on my right hand side on a shelf, what do I see before my eyes? 1981 Ms. Pac-Man handheld tabletop video game. Could not freaking believe it. It's one of the ones that I did not have. I really wanted this one. And so I picked it up. Uh, it actually has the battery cover on the bottom, but you can see it must have like a Kool-Aid stain or something like that. It's not battery ass, and I checked it. Um, they didn't have batteries in it, so I had to run out and grab some and come back. And what's even cooler, it actually... works. How cool is that? Bummer, I got eaten. The ghost got me. So anyways, pick this up. Didn't pay a really bad price for it. I tried to get it cheaper because it does have some, some tape residue on the side. I bet they tried to tape the, the cover shut at one point. I almost think this isn't the original case that uh, cover it had on it because this has no tape residue on it at all and the sides do. So maybe he bought the case thinking he could cover it up because it doesn't doesn't have any tape residue on it, which is fine with me. But I tried to talk him down. He wouldn't. He wouldn't go down. These usually sell between anywhere from fifty to hundred plus dollars on eBay. And so I love this. I had to add to my collection. So two huge scores in one day within probably about two hours. I could not believe it. So I'm glad I actually I got the little bit of a good deal on this. Uh, uh, saved me enough to buy this one. So, but what's really cool now is since I do have these ones. It goes also with my Pac-Man tabletop, so I both have Pac-Man and, and Miss Pac-Man, both work, and both have the, cat, the battery case on the bottom, which is pretty cool. This one's kind of rough, it's got the stickers coming off, but I got those two. And then my favorite, uh, reach over here, uh, Donkey Kong game, this is my favorite by far, this one's got all the stickers, it's got the battery case on the bottom, and it actually came with this, they're called Dura, Dura Power. Uh, batteries, which is really kind of interesting. Let's see if I can open this up and show it to you real quick. Um, I wasn't familiar with these. They're batteries and derma power, or perma power, that's it, perma power. And basically, what it is, it takes the place of the batteries and you plug it in to the wall and you play the game, which is really kind of cool. So it was their their idea of, of using it you see right there. You can plug something in and play with it. So I got all three of these games. I still want to try and get the Frogger. There's a Galaxian. Those two I need to find for the Coleco version like this. Um, and there's also a, a Pac, uh, not Pac-Man Jr., um, Donkey Kong Jr., but that one is not, that one is not like those. There's a little bit wider. It's done by a different uh, company. I don't remember which company it was. Then there's also a, um, 
See Donkey Kong Jr. There's a Popeye, and I think there's also a Snoopy one, which I don't really you know who cares about the Snoopy one. And there's a Cubert one too, put up by some odd company, but I want to get all of those. So I was really excited about picking that up. My collection's going really good. I'm gonna put it on a shelf once we uh, move to a new house. That'll look really neat in the, in the man cave or in the in the in the area downstairs by the TV stuff. So, anyways, uh, one more thing I want to share with you guys that I thought was pretty cool. I did get a package in the mail from my mom. It was a late 40th birthday present, and what she got me, kind of a strange thing. She sent me this sweater vest in the mail. I'm like, what am I, Mr. Rogers or something? I mean, look at the 70s. Look on that thing. And then what is connected to the inside when I look at it? The new look, a 40-year-old sweater. This sweater was Grandpa Shatola. Shatola is my grand, my mom's maiden name. So we got we got Shatola, my great my grandfather who passed away 20. Well, now it's, yeah, it's 20 years ago plus. Um, this was actually his sweater. I think my dad maybe put it in his closet or had it in a, a, a chest for that many times. But I got that. I thought that was pretty funny. Maybe one day I'll wear it and just call myself Mr. Rogers for the day or something. But anyways, guys, that's all I got. I hope you have a great week. And as always, God bless.